So one of the safest and most well-documented levels in all of the back rooms is level four. It's the hub for almond water, and it's typically known as the last safe place before you have to run and scream for your life and stuff. But even in this safe level, there are some dark secrets that I guarantee that you didn't know about. Which is why today, I'll be explaining the hidden sub-levels of Backrooms Level 4 and how to avoid them. Trust me, you're going to want to avoid them, I promise. Let's get into the video, shall we? Shameless plugging time, go check out my third channel, Spoogly, for like video essays and deep dives. I just uploaded this 30 minute video about creepypastas from our childhood. It's a banger, check it out if that interests you. That's it, that, that's all I got. Back to the video. Level 4.3 is classified as a class 2 difficulty and is unsafe with a low its decount. We're starting off the video with the safest of the sublevels. It just gets crazier from here, you're gonna wanna stick around for that. But this level has been nicknamed the cubicles by people who have explored here, and you'll see why in a second. 4.3 is an endless office complex with looping rows of cubicles stretching out for miles and miles. Each little cubicle seems to contain a black office chair, pencils, sharpeners, papers, tables, and computers of some kind. The computers seem to be old, kind of like a mid 1900s style cubicle, and there are also food and drinks in the refrigerators scattered throughout the level. There's mainly just almond water inside these refrigerators. The walls of the cubicle are flimsy and can easily be broken, and a white misty fog seems to constantly be dispersing itself throughout the level. This mist comes from an unknown source, and it doesn't really do anything that bad, it kind of just makes it humid. The ambience of the level is a calm and empty vibe. Random sounds of paper shuffling or pencils writing can be heard while you're walking around this office, and sometimes you might even hear a soft rumble of thunder or a rain shower outside of the building. It's just a very chill, empty space. Alongside the office spaces, there are a couple other rooms that spawn here, like meeting rooms and private offices and bathrooms and hallways and that kind of thing. It's really just its own self-contained office building. The level also seems to be unnaturally humid inside, which is different from a lot of backrooms levels because this one takes place inside of a building and is humid. And along with this mist, there is a mold that is very common to see here. Other things like mushrooms are also a common sight to see inside of the level, and it's because of this humidity that causes them to grow through the moist carpet. Lots of them have been seen sprouting out through the darker corners of the level, and this mist just feels really thick sometimes. It kind of makes it hard to breathe. It's just sort of off. We still don't know if it's dangerous per se, but as of right now, travel deeper into the level at your own risk. And you remember how at the beginning of this, I said that the level is unsafe? And it's mainly because of two reasons. One is that there is an occasional entity that might spawn here, like a skin stealer or something like that, or maybe a death moth. But the other reason is that there are a few psychological effects that this level gives people when they get sent here. For example, it seems to increase work ethic and energy while you're inside the bounds of this level. And it's because of these effects that wanderers are inclined to stay here and not leave. They're kind of trapped in this endless cycle of doing tasks. Random, menial, useless tasks. Like sharpening pencils, typing stuff, cutting pieces of paper, that kind of thing. For some reason, this level gives you the intense feeling to do that. And it traps you here doing that forever, in a never-ending cycle of job. Some people might relate that to the real-life rat race, but that's just a thought. Now this sublevel has another effect that a lot of other levels tend to have, and it's that if you walk deeper and deeper into the level, you'll notice some things that are starting to decay and look older the deeper you go. And you've heard this a lot in other levels, it just seems to be a thing that the backrooms always does. But eventually, there will be more mold, and there will be less light, and it'll just generally get more dangerous. And eventually, tufts of grass and leaves and flowers will start forming in the halls and the cubicles, and everything will be overtaken by foliage. Eventually, the entire walls will be foliage, and you'll just be walking straight through grass. So just don't walk too deep into the level, that way you can avoid 
not walking through a jungle. So yeah, pretty much this is a sub-level of an infinite expanse of office cubicles that eventually get more and more decayed. It also gives you feelings of high energy and wants to trap you here doing random jobs forever. Sounds fun to me. To enter the sublevel, you have to be on the main level 4, and you have to find a dimly lit hallway that's behind a few doors, walk down it for a while, and you'll be led here. To exit, you can find a face lean on this level, and punch it in the face. That's crazy, and you'll be sent to level 11 if you do that. That's the only exit I'm gonna tell you. But there, there are like 4 more, just do that one. Punch any face lean you see. But this one was safe enough and calm, the, the next one throws all that out the window, I'm gonna be honest. Viewer discretion is advised. If you're squeamish around like organs and stuff, you might not want to watch. But if you're kind of weird like me and you want to watch, let's get into it. Backrooms level 4.4 is classified as a class 5B difficulty and is very unsafe for human life. And it has several environmental dangers. Now I'm gonna have to censor a lot of stuff in this part so YouTube doesn't strike me down where I stand, so just bear with me and try to enjoy it. Level 4.4 is very similar to the regular level 4. It's almost like a copy, pretty much. There's open office rooms, there's hallways, there's dimly lit corridors, and everything like that. Except there are two huge glaring differences that you'll notice very fast. So this sublevel is way smaller and less expansive than its main counterpart of level 4. That's the first difference. The other difference is that it has a reddish hue to it. Now what do I mean by this reddish hue that's all over the office walls and floors and ceilings and everything? I'm talking about this red juice that's just splattered everywhere. This red juice. So level 4.4's walls and floors are coated in this juice, and the entire level is trashed. The tables are flipped upside down, the chairs are thrown everywhere, there's huge scratches on the wall, and everything is ripped and torn to smithereens. Even the wallpaper itself is just falling off. We have no idea how all this stuff happened. And the source of this carnage is unknown, it's just a gruesome sight to see. And anyone who comes here is probably going to be traumatized. Hold your traumatization, because it's about to get really traumatizing. So the level's windows here differ from regular windows, because when you look outside of them, you'll just see water. Just an infinite expanse of water. Not the top or bottom of it, the middle part. Almost like you're in a submarine somehow. And there's just almost a more decayed feeling about this abandoned office. So while the debris and that kind of stuff has no real explanation for being here, and the tables have no real explanation for being flipped, and there's no real reason for things to be ripped, there is a reason for the red juice and the that you might find lying around. You see, when a wanderer gets sent to this sublevel, or when they accidentally find themselves here, they are filled after a time with an intense and uncontrollable form of red juice lust, or blood lust, if you will. Hopefully YouTube doesn't censor that. Which is pretty much where a person becomes extremely dangerous and reactive and volatile. It's self-explanatory. You just get really angry, you see red, all you want to do is slash and grab and end whatever you see. And this lust will cause wanderers to be uncontrollable and to attack others or, you know, their friends or whatever at random. They will literally just run after and pounce on any person that's there or near and they'll always want to do this. They'll always have that drive. And if there's not anyone there, then the wanderer will bang their heads on the walls and, you know, claw the carpet and chew on their own limbs and off their own digits, that kind of thing. They care nothing about anything but attacking and consuming, so they just don't even care what happens to their own bodies. You know, they're running around hurting themselves, ripping their skin off and everything, and that is why there's red juice everywhere on the walls. It's thought that only humans are infected with this lust, but it's also theorized by some that entities could be trapped accidentally here as well and also get infected and kind of transform into these worse versions of themselves that are just more aggressive and bigger and more gory and stuff, which is pretty freaking scary to think about. Just imagine like a wretch 
but bigger and more flayed open and more scary looking, if that's possible. But I think it's safe to say that you just need to avoid this area at all costs. You don't want to come here. You don't want to have these effects in your mind. Past this office section of the level, there's actually another strange area in this sublevel called the Locker Zone, and this is an area where wanderers claim to be drawn to it. It seems like they're being lured somehow, but you should avoid this and not go there. One, because the longer you're in the level, the more you're going to get filled with the lust and craziness, and two, because inside the lockers, there are some unnerving sights that I can't really get into. Just know that there are gross things in the lockers. You can pretty much guess what's in the lockers based off of what happens on this level. There are parts there inside. This level is just a really grotesque place that no one understands and it's really gr and gritty. And it seems like the back rooms is just playing this evil twisted trick on anybody that gets sent here, almost like it's a purgatory. Sometimes the lights of the level will flicker darker shades of red and you want to get out of here before you start turning crazy, I assume. I hope also. And especially before you run into something that's been here for a while, because things that have been here for a long time are even crazier and you just want to leave as fast as possible. So if you want to do that, listen up to the exit section right now. So to enter, you have to interact with a body on level 4.3 uh, just by no clipping through it. But note that this normally happens accidentally when people are kneeling down to inspect a body that they see on a different level. So when they're doing that, they accidentally no clip here and get sent. That makes it scarier to me because they don't want to come here. They, they get sent here accidentally. To exit, you have to run to the nearest window that you find and no clip through it at all costs to be sent on to level 7. And it's thought that somehow these levels, levels 4.4 and 7, are connected since there is water outside of these windows here, but we don't know for sure. It's just a guess. But yeah, this level, avoid it. This might be the most dangerous and volatile level inside of all the back rooms, and it's in a sub-level of one of the safest levels. It just goes to show you always have to watch out where you're going, always make sure to check around the corner before you go, and make sure to not accidentally no-clip here, unless you want to end up trapped. That's a crazy thing, running around, clawing stuff, and bashing your head around. You don't want to do that, trust me. So yeah, those were two sub-levels of level four. Hope you enjoyed them. Let me know what you thought. Let me know which one was your favorite. If your favorite was level 4.4, you're, you're probably crazy. I still thought it was pretty cool, though. Anyways, thank you for your love and support. Check below for my links, you know, the Twitter, the Discord, the other channels, yada, yada, yada. You all know the spiel already. Love and appreciate you all so much, and I will see you in the next video on any of my channels.